Unveiling Truths, The Power of Confession. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we dive deep into the English language and unravel its mysteries together. Today, we're exploring an intriguing phrase that often surfaces in conversations, stories, and even in our own experiences. Confess to the worst. Understanding this expression can unlock a deeper level of communication and self-expression. So, let's get started on this journey of discovery together. The phrase, confess to the worst, is a powerful expression used to describe the act of admitting to the most serious, harmful, or negative aspect of a situation or one's actions. When someone decides to confess to the worst, they are choosing to reveal a truth that may be difficult to share and might have serious consequences. It's an act of vulnerability and honesty, often seen as a step towards redemption or resolution. This phrase can be broken down into two key components. Confess, to admit or acknowledge something reluctantly, often something that is considered wrong or has been kept secret. To the worst, referring to the most serious, damaging, or negative part of a situation. Combining these, confess to the worst, implies a deep level of honesty and the courage to face the most challenging truths. To better understand how, confess to the worst, is used, let's look at some examples. 1. In a personal dilemma, imagine someone has made a significant mistake that hurt a close friend. By deciding to confess to the worst, they go to their friend, admit their mistake in full, and ask for forgiveness, fully acknowledging the gravity of their actions. 2. In literature and film, characters might be faced with a moral crisis where they must decide whether to conceal or reveal a dark secret. Those who choose to confess to the worst often undergo significant personal growth or redemption. 3. In legal and ethical scenarios, individuals may come forward to confess their involvement in serious crimes or unethical behavior, fully aware of the potential consequences but seeking to make amends or provide closure to those affected. The impact and reception of confessing to the worst heavily depend on the context and the parties involved. Cultural, social, and personal factors can influence how this act is perceived. It's crucial to consider the potential outcomes and whether the confession leads to healing, justice, or further complications. Understanding the nuances of this phrase and its implications can enhance empathy and communication skills, particularly in learning and teaching English as a second language. Thank you for joining us as we explored the meaning and use of confess to the worst. We hope this video has provided you with valuable insights into the complexities of the English language and human emotions. Remember, language is not just about words. It's about what we convey through our choices and actions. Stay curious, keep learning, and we'll see you in our next video. Take care.